transformed into a movie set. There's a mix of excitement and exasperation. Yes, yeah, because a lot of blocks, they've been closed to traffic, leaving residents there to wonder where do they put their vehicles? And that's always a big problem in many young. Meanwhile, some people have encountered the film star Adam Sandler. Rakesha Bailey has that story from Manny Young. The movie people, at least they're going to leave. Annie Schuster isn't phased that the production for Adam Sandler's Netflix film Hustle will shut down several blocks in Maniunk. She says parking is a bigger concern. You can't get a stroller by, you can't get a person by. Due to city construction, repaving the roads, and businesses rebuilding after recent flooding, cars have just nowhere to park, and it doesn't help with production crews moving in. Speaking of production crews, early Thursday morning outside of the beach club, that's also doubling as the crew's green room. I met Seti Roosevelt. The sky is literally the limit for anyone who falls into this industry who's a felon. After falling on hard times, Roosevelt entered a program that trains former inmates to work on movie sets. We scout, we organize, and we prep everything for the incoming film teams and crews that come in. As crews are working, everyone else is asking, "Where's Sandler?" I hope I went in soon. That's pretty cool to see films coming to Philadelphia. While production is happening, crews. Are providing residents shuttle back and forth from a nearby shopping plaza. Residents say it's a price they're willing to pay to have Manny Young make a cameo. Roosevelt can relate. I am in a hustle. And there he is standing courtside. He's on double duty, and he's the only person I've met today who has met an A1 celebrity. Having Adam Sandler, Robert Redford, Queen Latifah around here is super exciting just for the community. Well, of course, Maniac is going to be tricky to get around over the next couple of days, but I am told if you are trying to get a glimpse of Adam Sandler, most of the filming will be done this evening. Reporting from the studio, Akisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News. I like that.